I did a uh, review and teardown of that switch mode power supply from Pavono, Pavano, however you want to call it, a few days ago. And there were quite a few comments about switch mode power supplies versus linear power supplies. So for anybody who's unfamiliar with the difference between them, I thought today we'd talk a little bit about that and then we'll take a look at each type on the scope. So switch mode power supplies and linear power supplies. Let's first hit the theory. A switching power supply converts your AC line voltage to DC without using a transformer. Don't worry, there's a transformer coming, but first it just converts it. The high frequency DC is then sent to the regulation circuit, okay? So first it takes the AC line voltage and uses discrete components or an IC to convert it to a very high frequency DC, which is then regulated and then it's output. Now your linear power supply on the other hand uses a big old transformer to convert the AC line voltage to DC, which is up to twice as high in frequency as the input, you know, if we're using full wave rectification, what you have is a frequency twice that of the input. Now this lower frequency DC is then sent to the regulation circuit. So it's much simpler. You're going to see that when we get to that point. Now the pros. A switching supply will be much smaller and lighter than a linear supply because you don't need that big beefy transformer. And it's up to 80% efficient. So they're excellent for small portable applications, wall warts, automotive uses, anything that you know you need to move around. Your linear supply, however, will have little to no RF noise and a super fast transient response time. That's something that a switch mode power supply just cannot compete with. Now the cons. Your switching power supply is going to produce high frequency noise. That's bad for sensitive circuits. And the ripple is also going to be considerably greater than a linear supply. Again, bad for uh, sensitive circuits, but it doesn't mean it's a bad supply. Your linear supply is much larger and heavier than your switching supply. So generally you don't want to be carrying it around with you. And it's only about 60% efficient. So you can see they each have their trade-offs, their pros and their cons. They each have their uses. All right, now let's look at a simple circuit design for a linear power supply. Here's our AC coming in through our transformer. So now we have DC, which gets rectified, filtered. Then we go through our regulation circuitry to control our output voltage, filtered again, and output as a relatively clean DC. Now, let's look at a switching power supply. I didn't do a schematic diagram because there's just too much to draw, but basically, your AC comes in to a rectifier and a filter. It then goes through some sort of high frequency switch, generally a MOSFET or an IGBT. Then the transformer to step up or step down the voltage. Then it gets filtered again. And then you have your output. But before you get to your output, it goes through a voltage sensor, then through some isolation, and is put up against a reference voltage into an error amplifier to the PWM os oscillator, which controls the high frequency switch. So you see, it is incredibly more complicated. But that doesn't mean this one is better than this one. It just means they are different designs. You could say this is an older design, this is a newer design. You could say this is more efficient than this one. Or you could say this one is a more accurate design than this one, but it's really not. They just have different uses. So let's get out the scope and put each type of power supply on a scope and look at its output. Okay, let's start out with the linear power supply. This is a uh, 30 volt, 3 amp supply. And I've got it on my DC load, about 6 volts and about 1 amp. So let's go over to the scope. Allow me to adjust here, pardon me.
All right. So we put this on the scope. And you can see we are at one millivolt per division. And I have averaging turned on. So our ripple is less than one millivolt out of this linear supply. All right, very simple. A good solid supply. Okay, now I have the switch mode power supply hooked up. Same settings, nothing has changed except the power supply. And let's go back and look at the oscilloscope. Everything is the same, same settings, and when I touch the probe, now look at that. Okay, I'm going to stop it so I don't have to hold the probe on. And then if we go to cursor, voltage, we'll get our cursor set here for a nice average. Oops. And rotate the wrong knob. And we're looking at 3.36 millivolts. Now that's with, <clears throat> these are both with a low load of just one amp. That ripple is going to increase significantly as you increase the current flow through them. But you can see that the uh, switch mode power supply is four times as noisy as the linear supply. And if you're doing something with sensitive circuitry or some sort of RF application, that's going to result in high frequency noise. Okay, in closing, there's our two supplies side by side. 5 amp switching supply, 3 amp linear supply. This weighs nothing. This weighs quite a bit. Which one's better? It depends on your application. If you are going to power, say, some sort of high frequency oscillation circuit you're working on, some uh, radio frequency, something like that, then you're going to want the linear power supply just because it's cleaner. If you're doing home based experiments, playing around with Arduino, Raspberry Pi, or you know, just making your own circuits. This guy's fine. No problem at all. Price-wise, this is about $60 shipped to your door. This is about $100 shipped to your door. I mean, if you need this, obviously, then this is the one you're going to go with. If you don't, there's absolutely nothing wrong with the switching power supply. And like I said when I reviewed it, this has earned a spot on my bench. It's a good guy. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. That's it. I'm out. Peace.